Are you at the PTAB? Do, do people fight over that stuff? Do you see that stuff? Is it what? What is the like? If you had to tell somebody, like the number one thing to be on the lookout for during prosecution is. I think it's trying to get the Holy Grail claim instead of building out a portfolio of, well, I'm not going to get one claim that covers the entire industry, but I can target that competitor with this application, this competitor, have some variation in my claim scope, you know, stop filing dependent claims that are just useless, you know, wherein the, you know, the transmitter is a radio, for, you know, you're not getting anything with, with those kinds of claims. And there are, you know, there are some companies that approach it as a numbers game. Well, yeah, my patents may be not, you know, may not be that strong, but I've got 60 of them and you're going to have to kill all of them. You know, that that's one strategy, but See, but um, the thing is is the way the economics are today, it's worthwhile to kill 60 of them if they have to. I mean, cuz now I don't know that this federal circuit is ever going to get there, but there will be in our lifetime, maybe within the next few years billion dollar verdicts that have to be upheld for damages of a, of a billion or more dollars mm -hmm. simply because the number of people using the, the number of, yeah. of, of gadgets mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the math. I mean, the math is the math. You know, you know if, if it's a $5 billion case because everybody in the, in the civilized world has one in their pocket and you, and you owe me a, a penny or two for every one or you know, 50 cents for every one, that you are selling for $1,000 or $1,200, the, the math is the math. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, well, that's a lot of the standards, right? I mean, there's mountains of patents that allegedly read on them. Some of them aren't the strongest in the world, but there's a ton of them. And, you know, you're not going to kill all of them.